the first time in nearly two decades, the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics released new guidelines for tracking childhood development. I spoke with the medical director of health education and wellness at Ultimate, Dr. Ilion Shapiro, about the new guidelines. There are a couple of important things that we need to figure out. One is that uh, they need to be evidence-based. They evaluated a lot of the new information that we had for the past two decades, and they concluded a couple of things. First of all, we need to make sure that we are doing uh, a checklist uh, for every time that we have a, a conversation with parents. This way, it's clear. It's in a language that anybody can actually respond to it, and goes from 50%, like half of absolutely everybody, to actually going to 75%. Why? Because that way, you know, it's not we will wait and see. No, if, if it's, you know, if, if it's not happening and, you know, 75% of kids are already doing it, and our kid is actually having some issues or there's some, some concerns, well, we need to act then. The entire idea of this is to actually make sure that we're responding and actually managing a lot of these de developmental issues that we're having with our kids. Why will this now better help parents determine and identify if their kid has a social communication issue like autism or if really it's simply just the child needs more time? As I talk with my parents, it's extremely important just to say, hey, this is, I, I have this feeling. There's something that it's not clicking, something that is wrong. I'm concerned. Let's talk about it. And with these guidelines, it's it's kind of a checklist. And there's an app uh, for that that you know parents can actually start like checking, you know, from the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics, checking, you know, if their kids is are, are are doing good, if there's some concerns or not. The idea of this is to have clear conversations and make sure that we're detecting and being proactive in order to reach the kids that need help. Some of those um, benchmarks when a child does need help, I want to talk about what are some of those just for parents who may be watching. One of my favorite ones is around two months of age. Uh, a lot of kids need to start smiling and uh, they smile and you smile and there's like that connection. Uh, that's one of the things that I love. Another one is, you know, kids at four months old, they need to be running from one side to another. Um, and those are like one is more on the social part. The other one is on the physical part. But this way, every time that you see a pediatrician, ask what my kid is supposed to be doing. And us as pediatricians, the best recommendation out there from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the CDC is to have this checklist at your office. They are free. That way, you know, we can have these conversations with, with parents and make sure that we are not making any mistakes. And most importantly, we're not delaying help for our kids.